I have never met any group who enjoys a monopoly who doesn't prefer to keep it that way. So that's reality. However, that doesn't mean that they have to get away with it all the time. I'm sure that if Bill Gates was given a chance, they would have preferred to have imposed a monopoly of operating systems. They would have reduced the quality of computer developments as it has been shown. The money system is a monopoly. It's a privilege that has been given to the financial system. In its current form, I think it has made possible the entire industrial age. It would have been impossible to create the industrial revolution without that system. However, if it continues holding on to the single monopoly, would create a collapse of the entire civilization. What makes sense of having a monopoly of creating money in a society that doesn't work anymore? What makes sense to have ownership of all the resources if the planet is falling apart. So I think there is a terrain of negotiation. At one point, at one extreme, we have the status quo. The status quo is clearly not going to work. I think we have enough evidence for that now. The other extreme, we do have people saying, well, let's get rid of the banking system. Let's get rid of the monopoly of creation of money by the banks. We'll do that by governments. I think that's the worst scenario from the banking system too. The middle ground is the financial system continues doing what it's doing with the appropriate constraints and regulations to avoid the excesses that we've known lately. But it can continue doing that while leaving the room for innovations to work on parallel. What was the problem of having miles created as a currency by the airlines? It doesn't really create a major problem for the banking system, does it? It's huge. It's not marginal. It's big. Now, the only criticism I have about miles is they don't really do anything for society. The fact that I take one airline or another airline to get from A to B is not going to be particularly useful to anybody except that airline. So let's use these technologies for deeper purposes, for the real challenges that we have in the 21st century. But why would they be a threat to what's working already? So I see the middle ground as a negotiation space. And I would claim that the financial system has actually an advantage in embracing the strategy. Let's take the case of the terror. Counter trade, international barter, is the fastest growing sector in the global economy. Banking system has nothing to do with it. The terror is global counter trade, standardized counter trade. You end up with a currency, you can need a bank account in terras, just like you have any other national currency. So by innovating cleverly, by using the technologies and the credit, credibility that the financial system needs in order to survive, we can actually create a system that works for everybody. That's a win-win for all parties. But we need to get out of the box, the box of the status quo of a single currency is not viable. That's the one constraint that I claim we need to face. That's the one change that needs to be in place. All the rest becomes possible.